All right. All right, boss. This jersey that we wear today, it doesn't say Red Sox. It say Boston. We want to thank you, Mayor Menino, Governor Patrick, the whole police department for the great job that they did this past week. This is our city. And nobody gonna dictate our freedom. Stay strong. Thank you. <laughs> well, winter has arrived. Not we knew it was coming. Uh, it's Monday. Uh, I had a whole, I don't know, I had about ten clients set up for the day, all excited, ready to kick their ass. Nope, not off to a good start. Dumping down some pretty bad snow right now and some uh, turning to rain later. So needless to say, I got a couple of cancellations. Although my first my first uh, session is a 75-year-old woman who lives about a mile away and was going to walk through the storm to come here. And I actually had to call her and say, no, don't. Do not do it. I never ever advised that, but it was for it's for her own safety. She would have came. <laughs> that's determination, and that's what you have to have. But I mean, within reason, of course. But uh, I got at least the you know I know after about noon time they're all I'll have at least six, seven, maybe eight uh, courageous souls coming in. And uh, we'll hit it hard. All right, listen, uh, this weekend I got the the opportunity to watch a documentary that someone uh, recommended to me, and that was the Boston bombing documentary on HBO. And I, I have to tell you that you must watch it as upsetting as it will be. It was extremely compelling and emotional. I... I um, you know, I, I, I had, a, I have a couple of friends who had some very close friends who were there who had lost limbs, and was and was physically affected for the rest of their lives because of that. As all as you have, I'm sure, we were all affected by it, and I, I actually compared it to 9/11, to be honest. Although it was at a, a somewhat of a smaller scale, I feel it was just as, just, uh, just as effect, it was just as detrimentally effective as as the other. It's it's awful. But but you know again, not to go on and on about how awful it was because it that goes without saying. But. In the documentary, they follow several people through that day all the way through a year later and the effects it had on them personally and with their families. And uh, I have to tell you, it was it was really, really interesting to watch. I mean, I mean, as as we come on here every week and we discuss fitness and, you know, I, I stay border more on the positive thinking side of things and positive frame of mind and overcoming adversity and so on Th this documentary shows just that it shows i mean i'll give you an example there was one there was all the stories were amazing they all had their own type of dynamic but there was this one girl who was this young sassy it, extremely well fit girl who who met this 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 young guy and and they were in love and and they were into working out and running both very successful in their careers at the time and and then that awful day came and that young lady lost part of her leg and 
and uh, part of the other one. She and uh, the 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 husband also lost his leg, and it showed them through that day and 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 all those months and months and months in the hospital, and um, then they finally, you know, the, the torment it was to deal with losing. This is a woman. These are people who are who are very physically active people, and now it's been taken taken away from them. And and what did it what did a what a horrible thing to 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 uh, experience? Uh, I can't even begin to tell you now. You know, it's the, the 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 wife, the young lady, lost one of her legs, and eventually they both got prosthetic legs. And the other leg, after over a year, wasn't. It still had massive complications. It was it was rejecting the you know the prosthetic leg, and it was causing all sorts of pa massive pain all the time. The husband was going through it himself. He he got a prosthetic leg, and uh, it, it they got you know it, there was many hills and valleys, and and the husband started eventually doing a little bit better. And walking better on his own with the prosthetic, but yet the wife was having issues, and she was dealing with massive pain all the time. And and with her, it, it was such a mental battle for her. Uh, I can't even begin to imagine what that would be like. I mean, I, I, me myself, I, I'm constantly moving all the time. I, it's, this has been my life. If that was taken away from me, I, I would. It would be so terrible. But anyway, you know, it, it did follow three other three other uh, dynamic stories. Uh, two brothers who were there that day, they both lost their legs. Both went on to get overcome all of that. One of them start, ended up starting his own construction business. Uh, you know, then there was this one young lady, she was, a, you know, uh, around my age, and she had lost both her legs, and this is a woman who was a very fun, outgoing woman, it was a very, it, it she, her, the toll it took on her husband, because her daughter, their daughter also uh, lost some serious mobility to her leg, her, she went through probably a hundred surgeries and uh, was able to walk again with lots of scars and still a lot of pain, but she she got through it. But the, the torment, it went on the, into the father, feeling like he couldn't, he was there that day, but he couldn't take care of them. And it, and it just broke him down, put a massive strain. But the the woman, the, the mother uh, got through it Eventually, uh, it took a very long time. She overcame all that and, and learned to walk again and eventually got some experimental uh, prosthetics that allowed her to go in the water and she felt like a, herself again. And the daughter was, was you know, had gone through some, some, uh, some mental issues with eating disorder and all that, trying to deal with it. And man, it just, it was unbelievable. It's, it's what a, what a documentary of overcoming obstacles. And then at the very end, the, uh, the, the people I talked to you about in the middle, in the beginning of this uh, segment here, the, the husband started running again. And he, three years later now, three years of physical therapy and, and dealing with things and, and the wife, him and the wife dealing with their, their adversities, he ended up running the Boston Marathon once again. And what an emotional, what an emotional thing that was to watch because his wife was at the finish line waiting there. Uh, you know, at one point they had, nothing was working. So they had to go to a, a, a military hospital that specialized in blast victims and it was only specifically for the military but they ended up getting in the program and a lot of those 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 gentlemen who were in the military were at the finish line to watch this young man run run through the finish line it was so emotional it's just that feeling of accomplishment knowing you got through something awful 
So I, I, I would advise or recommend rather that you, if you could go on, uh, if, you, if you probably all have Comcast on demand, I would look it up, the Boston Marathon bombing documentary on HBO. It's amazing. It, you know, brace, your, brace yourself because the footing is, the footage is so graphic and it's so beautifully done the way that they did it. And, but they do show some horrific thing the whole that day in specifics but follow those stories and i am telling you it would be unbelievable okay i mean basically the premise of today's video was you you know we all can we all complain we all have excuses reasons not to go to the gym or reasons not to work out or or you know I, you know i i say it's 90 percent diet but i mean it, in regards to losing body fat and, and so on, but really in a situation like that, it's 90, it's more than 90% mental. It's, it's a mental battle. So we cannot complain. We, if you have your health, you have all your limbs, you have the, the, the ability to work, to exercise and, and, and better yourself. You better not take that for granted because if it was taken away from you, you would be seriously, you would be in some serious battle with your mind. I'm telling you right now. So get to the gym and give tribute to those individuals who, 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 who couldn't, who can't, who wish they could. Get to the gym, celebrate your health and bust your ass. And be, be the best you can be. Don't take yourself and your health for granted. Okay? The next time I talk to you, it'll probably be just before Christmas. So I hope you're all uh, out there safe uh, and, and shopping and getting your loved ones something nice. And uh, I hope to talk to you guys next week. And I know you're going to get to the gym. Have a great week.